All right, today we have a crusty old pair of L.O. Bean boots. Let's see if we can do something with them. Now, remember we are in a factory, so if you hear some noise in the background, they're doing some construction. But, all right, so this L.O. Bean pair of boots. Now, not a lot of L.O. Beans can be recrafted, but we had these sent to us. They look like they might be a fun little challenge and make for a good video. So we kind of sat down and wrapped our brains around how we're going to attack this. And um, yeah, I think we've, we've, got a, we've got a solution for them. So come along, let's do it. So this whole sole, hill, top lift, block, everything is just a uh, synthetic crepe material. This is often what happens. Uh, cement on synthetic will just eventually delaminate and just peel off. So the inside of this is all felt. So we were kind of talking about the felt and a lot of times in shoemaking, um, especially in colder climates, uh, it is kind of a tradition sometimes to have a piece of uh, wool batting or felt that's um, at least underneath the ball of the foot or sometimes even the whole foot just to kind of work as an insulator. And being an L.O. Bean, you know, they're up, in, you know, up, uh, up north and cold climates, so, um, my guess is that's why they use this. It may not be somebody from Alabama like, nah, we didn't use it for that. But uh, my guess would be it's some sort of insulator. So this is actually with the footrest on as well up underneath. It's just all uh, felt. So we're gonna redo it. Sometimes it's better to do it with your hands. As y'all can tell, these are a stitch down construction. So as soon as I take this off, this whole thing is gonna come open like a can of biscuits and can lose its shape. So I need some guide points to line the new felt up uh, with the upper. All right, so here's how we're gonna have to attack this shoe. Uh, because it had felt, it actually had a really thick piece of felt. I don't have felt that thick. So um, I was able to get some probably about half that thickness, but because we're putting on a day night onto this, uh, this shoe, I still wanna have that leather midsole, um, but I also have to make up the thickness. So to make it a little bit smoother on the foot, we're gonna actually, this will be on the inside. We'll put felt on the other side, stitch these together, and this, both of these together will form the new midsole. And then we can go from putting the sole and the midsole, uh, I'm sorry, insole, and then we'll put a midsole on and then the outsole. So one of the questions we'll often get or comments is, um, 
is it worth getting the, that pair of shoes redone? And sometimes yes, and sometimes no. It also comes down to, you know, the person who owns the shoe. Um, and, you know, like in, in this case, it just kind of depends. We will sometimes, if we spot a shoe that looks like it would be an entertaining shoe to make a video over, even if it's, you know, very labor intensive, like in this case, you know, we'll, we'll do it just because it, it'll make a fun video. But it's just one of those things, you gotta kind of weigh it weigh your options and kind of go from there. Now normally I've got a trencher that will actually do this, but it is kaput right now. And uh, until I get it fixed, I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. All right, so we were thinking about doing dark brown around the edge, but since we layered multiple layers like leather and then that little bit of felt and then um, another thing of thin leather, I think I'm gonna go neutral just to try to kind of add a burnish to that leather and make it pop. And um, it's not like you're just covering it all up into one color, so yeah.
All right, we've wrapped up this pair of L.L. Bean stitched down constructed little booties. Now, these were a lady's boot. And so for that special thanks to Laura, she is actually a local lady. These boots were not actually built to be redone. I mean, they can be redone, but they weren't like ideally made like a typical welted boot to be redone. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes we agree to take a job and we just think, hey, this looks like it'd be fun. We'll, we're willing to put in a little bit of extra work like hand stitching all the way around just because you know it may make for a good video and sometimes it just uh, breaks things up with doing regular boots. So we had fun doing this. That's why we uh, showed this boot for you. And she wanted to go, it had to, remember it was, just, it was all cement constructed when, when you first saw it. And so we had to make it where it's gonna last a little bit longer. So that's why we went with day night. We actually sandwiched different insoles. We actually rebuilt the insoles. Now it's out of leather instead of just on felt. So she won't, her heel won't wear through it. So we put a lot more into this to actually make it last a lot longer because she's not gonna be able to have these redone again. So she wanted to go with a day night sole. So we went with a brown day night. Now this actually made it a little bit more difficult because day nights have that studded pattern underneath the ball of the foot and you basically have to shoes are going to come in different shapes and different sizes and widths and toe curves and all that so trying to make it to where it's actually going to fit i actually had to go through my stash of day night soles and find the smallest one that we had i had i bought them i've had them for years and and they've never used it so uh, and that, even that one was a little bit big. So we try to stay around, away from the little nubs when we're stitching, but sometimes you get kind of close and we just barely cleared it on this one, but uh, we made it work. These boots are gonna last her for a, a lot longer now. And hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about products or services, go down to our link in the bottom, potterandsons.com. Also, hey, don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. We. Uh, we're always just throwing some of the most random pictures that we don't put in a video over, but we take pictures and we like to post those for your entertainment. So yeah, go follow us down there as well. Y'all have a good one until next time.